fortunately or unfortunately, we all need money. Life is not cheap, and this world we live in, uh, it's got its flaws. It's not perfect. Um, we live in one of those beautiful places in the, on the planet Earth, but we need money. And so because we need money, we see our number one objective. Like if we just wake up in the morning at Royal Page Little Oak and Royal Page North Star and say, you know, what is our primary job? Primary job is we want to help our agents sell more homes. Now, that in just a little nutshell can sound like so basic and so simple and almost like shallow. It, it's actually way deeper than that because we know what selling more homes can lead to. And it's actually what that leads to is what we're most passionate about. But we know that the things that our agents are most passionate about require money. And the way to get more money is to sell more homes. So that's why we start with, you know, we help agents sell more homes, but it doesn't end there. You know, if we could really, if we could write a book about, you know, what are we most excited about? Or if you could ask Ray and I in 20 years, like, you know, how would we measure our success? I think the way we would answer that is we would say, well, in 20 years, we want as many of agents as, as possible to be leading the lives they want, have some form of financial independence, be free from the pain of not having enough each month and have whatever they need to give to the charities they're passionate about, uh, provide schooling for kids and grandkids and, you know, take the vacations that are important uh, with their families and have those cottages or cabins and create those memories that they want to create with the family. Like all of those things are what manifest from we help people sell more homes. It's not about the home. It's what the sale of the home can lead to for all of our people. That's what we're passionate about. Now to get there, it's not just about selling a home. You know, once you make the sale and you make the commission, the gap between making money and then having the conclusion of that story 20 to 30 years from now depends on what you do with the money you earn. I've been in this business for a long time, more than two decades now. And I've seen a lot of people make a lot of money and every year they spend more than they make. And here they are sitting around many years into their business, they got nothing to show for it. It's not about what you earn, it's about what you keep and it's about what you do with the portion that you keep. We are most passionate about that. And so we don't only want to help agents sell more homes. We want to help them sell more homes because what we really want to do is show them what to do with the portion that they can keep in order to provide for their family's future and for the things that are most important to them. We've got lots of great stories in our brokerage. I can think of one in particular. This individual is so passionate about this cause that they've, you know, taken their extra money and time to create a foundation uh, that's important to them. And here they are now giving back to others who are have suffered like they once suffered uh, with an ailment that this individual had. You know, those kinds of stories, that's the stuff that like wakes us up and makes us alive. Like that's what, you know, gets you up in the morning. Is selling a home exciting? Yes, of course, selling a home is exciting. But what's even more exciting is having that investment property for the first time or taking a family on that vacation that you can never afford before. Or 15 or 20 years from now, having a college fund that was set up 15 or 20 years earlier for your four or five grandchildren. These are the things that we're most passionate about. We want to put people in a position where they can achieve all of their goals and aspirations and create legacies for their, themselves and for their families. It's not just selling homes. It's what are we doing after we've made the sale and what kind of lives do we want to have? If that sounds interesting, or if that's, you know, if you align with that, if that's something that you're passionate about too, then we certainly do want to have a conversation because we want to meet people who think like us and to see if there's a way we can work together.